Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and this is the 2800 watt garden shredder from Lawnmaster. In this video, we're gonna take a look at its features and functions. We're gonna test it out here in my garden and we're gonna see how well it performs. By the end of this review, you'll know whether this is the right electric garden shredder for you and your garden. So before we take a closer look at this garden shredder from Lawnmaster, we need to get it unboxed. So let's do that now. Let's see what comes supplied with the package and then we'll go into the assembly and we'll see how easy that is. Okay, so let's get it unboxed. So that's our Lawnmaster Garden Shredder Unbox. So what do you actually get supplied in the package? So naturally you're gonna get the, the shredder itself or the hopper itself. So this is the 2800 watt version. There is a smaller version, the 2400 watt version that comes with a soft uh, collection box, but this comes with a hard collection box. This is a 60 liter collection box. You're getting that large 60 liter box uh, supplied with the shredder as well. You're getting the chassis that we will put this together in a moment and I'll show you how to do that. You get one plunger, you get safety goggles supplied, which is a really nice touch uh, from Lawnmaster. We are going to have to do some assembly. So there are the wheels that are gonna need to be assembled. You get two rubber stoppers here, which are gonna be used on the chassis itself. Uh, you do get supplied a spanner um, and a hex key or an Allen key here. Uh, so you're not going to need any additional tools to assemble uh, this shredder, which is really nice. You also get an extra plate here. So this is the cutting plate uh, that the blade goes up against. So this isn't an impact shredder. Uh, this, and this is meant to be a quiet shredder. And we're gonna test that a little bit later when we, when we cut some wood in my garden. Okay, so that's pretty much what you get supplied in the box. So let's get this assembled and let's see how easy that is. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the wheels onto the, the chassis itself. Now that's relatively straightforward. There is a guy, uh, an illustration in the manual that shows you how to put the wheels on, but I'm gonna show you here and I think that will be easy if you actually see it happening. So you're provided with this uh, nut and bolt set here with some washers and a spindle in the middle. So basically in terms of the order that this goes on, so the bolt goes through from the inside out with one of the washers on. And that just gets passed through the main chassis here. You then put another washer on. So that's a washer each side of this bar here. You then put this tube, this hollow tube on like so. The wheel then goes on naturally with this piece on the inside because we're gonna use this hubcap to finish it off on the outside. So that simply just goes on like so. Then you put the, the third washer on and then the nut, the self-locking nut goes on. So naturally you're not gonna be able to do that by hand because of the plastic self-locking nut. So that's where your tools come in. So you just use the spanner, I'll just turn that so you can see that. So you just simply use the spanner and the Allen key just to tighten that up like so. And because you have that tube running through, you do this up as tight as it will go, not to over tighten it. Like so, and then that still allows the wheel to turn. And then you simply just clip this hubcap on uh, the outside. So there is a way that it goes. You've got some little holes here on the inside of the wheel. So you just simply line those up. And then just that clips in like so. So I'm gonna do the other wheel and then I'll show you how to put the stoppers here on the other end of the chassis. Okay, so we've got our wheels on. So that was really straightforward as part of the assembly. So the next bit is to get these feet on the other end of the base here. So again, really straightforward. There's two washers. There's a straight washer and a locking washer and a nut here. So all you do is you simply just push that through. The normal washer goes on first then the split washer or the lock-in washer goes on next and then the nut just screws on and then on the other end of your spanner you have a smaller uh, 10 mil spanner here and you just use that to just do that up tighten that up onto the lock-in washer 
like so. Okay, and that's on securely. So I'll get that done on the other side uh, and then we're ready to get the hopper onto the chassis itself. Okay, so we're almost there with the assembly of this garden shredder. So all we need to do now is actually to just get the hopper or the main unit onto the sh chassis here. So all you do is you simply just put that on top, uh, just line the pattern up on here. It kind of locks in anyway, so it sits in, but you do need to secure it using these four screws here. So I did say at the beginning that you don't need any tools, but you are going to need a cross-headed screwdriver just to do that. So I'm going to get this screw to the base and then we're going to take a look, closer look at the specifications of this garden shredder. So let's take a closer look at the specification of this Lawmaster Garden Shredder. So this is the 2800 watt version um, and it will cut branches up to 42 millimeters and we're going to be testing that here uh, in my garden uh, very shortly. So you also get with this a three meter power cable which is a little bit short so you're, you're probably going to need an extension lead with that um, if you're operating that at the end of your garden for example. Um, you also get supplied one hopper as well, or one pusher, one um, plunger, if you like, uh, to push the branches down. There are additional um, plungers available on the Lawnmaster website, so that's always nice to know should this get damaged or should you just want an additional plunger as well. As I mentioned earlier, you also get supplied uh, an additional plate as well, cutting plate, and this is what the blade uh, cuts up against and this at some point may need replacing because there will be some wear on this plate as time goes by. So again, these are readily available from the Lawn Master website, but you do get a spare one in the kit. Lawn Master have also thrown in a pair of safety goggles, which is a nice touch as well. And I would always advise reading the manual before you operate this machine, you have to read the manual for safety instructions. It's so crucial to do that. So I would strongly suggest that you, you do that before even turning this machine on. So do read the instruction manual and the safety instructions in there. As I mentioned earlier, you've got a really large 60 litre capacity collection box here, which locks in and slides in like so. The machine can't be operated unless this box is in and it's actually in the lock position. So if your machine doesn't start, just ensure that you have that uh, locked in to position like so. Many people with these garden shredders, they worry about when they get jammed and I can understand that. But with this Lawn Master, there's two methods to remove any jams that are in the machine. So the first is you have an, a, a reverse feature uh, to reverse anything that's got stuck into the hopper or, or into the blade, which again is a really nice feature. And you also have a second option of easily removing this front cover here uh, on the side or on the front of the machine that allows you access to the blade area and to the plate area so that you can again remove any debris from there. So that's really nice to know that if this does get jammed, if the reverse doesn't work, you also have an easy access to the internals of the machine. Okay, so that's pretty much it in terms of the specification. So let's now take this out and let's give it a try and see how well it performs. Okay, so we've come out to my garden now to, to test this uh, garden shredder. So why did I purchase this garden shredder? Well, because we've been doing a lot of trimming around the garden and we've literally got six, seven bags of these twigs and cuttings from around the garden. We've been trying to get rid of it in the compost bin, in the collection bin for many, many weeks. And we just decided, is there a better way? Is there a more environmentally friendly way to just dispose of this and actually make use of the mulch that we're gonna get from this? So I've never used a garden shredder before. So this will be the first time that I'm doing that. So that's the reason we've got the shredder. So we're gonna test it on these twigs and these branches, but I've also got some thicker branches here. So as I mentioned earlier, this shredder cuts up to 42 millimeters or 4.2 centimeters. So I've got some quite thick branches here around the four centimeter mark. 
and we're going to put them through and just see how well this deals with the thicker branches. Uh, in my particular garden we're not too worried about these because we'll just use them on the fire pit. Uh, it's more about this thinner stuff that we, we're desperately trying to get rid of and we're, so we're hoping that it's going to deal equally as well with these this kind of material this mixed material these leaves these dried leaves and these twigs as well as dealing with the more thicker branches okay so that's the reason we've got the shredder and that's the tests that we're going to do on it so let's get on let's see how well this performs so as i mentioned earlier please read the instruction manual for safety advice so naturally goggles essential I've got some gloves on as well so before you actually start using the machine you need to adjust the plate so there's a blade a cutting blade and a plate that needs to be adjusted just right to give you the optimum performance so the way you do that is if you turn the machine on you should just hear a slight grinding noise if you don't then you're just going to slightly remove uh, sorry reduce the gap using this lever and try again there's a little bit of a grinding noise there so I'm just going to increase that a little bit more and I don't know if you can hear that on the camera but you just need to hear that little bit of a grinding noise that means that the blade and the plate are at the perfect uh, gap in order to get a good performance from the cut okay so that's the theory let's give it a try so I'm going to now just try some thinner branches and see how well that cuts it and then I'll show you the results in the box Okay, super impressed with this Lawnmaster Garden Shredder. I didn't really know what to expect from it, but as you can see there, it just it was just self-feeding the branches in. I thought I was gonna have to use the plunger to plunge them down, but it didn't. It just self-fed and it's cut them up really nice. So I just unlocked the box there and show you just from those few branches, we've got a really nice mulch there that we're gonna use to put uh, around the garden to, to prevent the weeds from coming up. Um, as well so really really super impressed I'm gonna now carry on uh, so one thing I would just say to be careful of is if you are putting branches in um, and they have some soil on like so soil and stones that's gonna damage the blade so just make sure that you get rid of all of the soil uh, from the branch and any stones that are in there as well so that you've just got the branch material going through into the machine into the hopper okay so I'm gonna carry on with this and then we're just going to summarize and then I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this Lawnmaster Garden Shredder.
Okay, so I hope you could see there how well this Lawnmaster 2800 Watt Garden Shredder did uh, cutting uh, the cuttings in my lawn, the different size cuttings that I had. Really, really, really impressed. I didn't know what to expect, but really, really impressed. And that's going to reduce the amount of garden waste that I'm putting into the recycling bin for collection. So you could see there how well it cut even the thicker branches. So let's just run another one through here. Okay, so so impressive this self-feeding feature. It just takes the branch down and cuts it really nicely. So as with all of my reviews, I do go over the pros and cons of any particular product and I desperately try to find something wrong with this uh, grass um, shredder, but I, sorry, this garden shredder, but I couldn't actually find anything. Um, to mention at this point but what I will do is there's a full review of this shredder on the easylawnmowing.co.uk website and I will keep that up to date if I notice any issues for long term over the longer period so I've got lots to cut um, and that's what I will do I'll report back anything that I notice in that review there's a link in the description below this video so what about the pros so in terms of the pros I think you could see there how well it performed it's going to cut anything up to 4.2 centimeters 42 millimeters so that's a really good size good good capacity there you've got that 60 liter collection box so if I just remove that and show you what it's done so far as you can see there it's got really done well in terms of the cuttings you can see that there so I'm going to spread that um, on my garden uh, in between the shrubs to help keep the weeds down or if you now want to put that into the recycling bin it's going to take up a lot less room and you're going to get a lot more a lot more in so that's really really impressive two other things that I really would like to mention that are noteworthy is the wheels so you could see there that I was wheeling this uh, shredder to the end of the garden is 22 kilos so you really don't want to be lifting something like that so the wheels the large wheels really really worked well the other notable feature that i really like about this shredder is the fact that this hopper this top piece of the hopper can be stored inside the collection box to reduce the storage space in your shed or in your garage again a really really nice feature you're going to get a two-year warranty with this shredder so that's again that's confidence in the product from cleaver or lawnmaster so really really impressive so as i said if you'd like to see a full review of this shredder please head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website there's a comparison table there as well so you can see the difference between this and the slightly smaller shredder from lawnmaster as well if you have any comments or questions please feel free to put them in the comments box below this video and i'd be happy to answer them for you and please, if you found this review useful in any way, could I please ask that you click that thumbs up button? It'd be much appreciated. And why not subscribe to my channel as well? If you want to get notifications of any future videos, then please click the bell icon uh, and you'll be notified when I upload any future videos. Thanks very much for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one.